Hello there YouTube, this is Uncaged Snipes and welcome to the very last submachine gun on my gold gun series. This is the MP7 with a silencer and extended mags on the map hard hat. Uh, so right into it, the MP7 is unlocked at level 74 in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer which is, another, which is one of the reasons why you do not see a lot of these guns gold because you only have 6, uh, six ranks to rank 80. The only way you will see one of these guns gold is if someone has not prestiged uh, uh, once they have reached level 80 or if they have unlocked it with a, one of their prestige tokens which you get after you prestige for the first time. Um, this The MP7 has 35 points, per da points of damage per bullet at close range and 20 points of damage per bullet at long range. So at it, it, it close range, you're looking at a, a three bullet kill, a three no four bullet kill if my math is right. Yeah, f sorry, four bullet kill at close range, and a very weird, weird not weird not weird. Uh, sorry, five bullet kill at a uh, long range, which is to be honest, a, a very respectable for a machine a submachine gun with the amount of recoil this gun has, which is very very minimal. You will you will be able you will be able to spray uh, from quite far away uh, across a map uh, with the MP7, and most of the most of the bullets will be able to will be able to hit them. Uh, as I said, the recoil is really really low on the MP7. It's I think it's one of the lowest recoils, lowest lowest uh, recoil gun um, in the game. One of them anyway. So uh, where was I? The, it has a 40 round uh, in a magazine. Uh, the reload time is 3 seconds when there's still got, uh, bullets in the magazine and 3.63 uh, seconds when there's no uh, bullets left in the magazine. Again, you know, as I say in most of my videos, sleight of hand is really useful uh, when you've got the guns that, you know, take a while to reload without. Um, Sleight of Hand. Sleight of Hand is a really good perk. Uh, quite a lot of people use it, uh, but not enough people use it, I, I don't think, because you've got your scavenger and, you know, extreme conditioning as well. The blind eye as well um, are really good perks. Yeah, recon as well. Um, there's a lot of good perks in the um, in the top tier, so that's why I don't see a lot of people using sleight of hand usually. But you know, sleight of hand it is a really good perk. I recommend you use it, especially with you know submachine guns. You're really in around the enemy spawn, and you know you're going to need extra uh, fast reload times. And even if you use scavenger, uh, use uh, the specialist bonus, and you will be able to earn uh, sleight of hand, or, you know something like that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the MP7 is a really good gun. I really do recommend you use it. Um, you know, if you haven't uh, unlocked it, um, if you're prestiged and you haven't unlocked it, just you know, spend one of your one of your prestige tokens on it, and you will be fine. Uh, so that's all the that's all the submachine guns out of the way. That's all of my you know d you know the easy guns of uh, Modern Warfare 3. All those are out of the way. Now it's on to the light machine guns, which should be out uh, quite soon actually, because I do actually I do actually have the the LA6 all uh, gold. I know I do have it gold actually, uh, so that'll probably be out within the next couple of days. Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but you know that all the easy guns are done. You know <laughs> I've got all the assault rifles done, and I've got all now I've got all the submachine guns uh, done. You know the, I have had a, a, a small amount of you know difficult guns in the past two uh, two sets of guns. I've had the uh, the M16, the CM901 were quite hard to use, uh, the PM9 as well. Uh, but mo most of the guns so far have been, you know, really, really easy to get gold. I'm not, I'm not really looking forward to the light machine guns actually. But in my sp my my experience of light machine guns, I haven't really done too well in them. So hopefully, I'll be able to get used to the light machine guns and learn how to basically play with the light machine guns as well. Um, hopefully, it shouldn't be that that hard. But you know, it. As I've found out with the gold guns, uh, if you're using a if you use a gun um, 
you know, if you're getting a, a gun gold, you'll, you'll learn how to, you know, you'll, you'll learn how to move around with the gun as you go around using it. Because uh, it doesn't take that long to learn how to use a gun, to be honest with you. Um, so that's actually all I've really got to say uh, for this video, actually. The next video should be out within the next couple of days, and that'll be the L86. Um, the light machine gun so if you've liked the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really does help me out I've kind of stayed at the uh, a certain amount of subscribers uh, for the for the past couple of uh, week or so so if please just uh, subscribe uh, I do try and upload as much as I can but I will see you all on my next video thank you all for watching